Another big eight-man football game tonight. Don Bosco hosting GMG in a first-round playoff game in Gilbertville. And our Ron Steele is back from that fine town, and he has the highlights. That's right, Rick. Another beautiful night out there in Gilbertville. So as I mentioned on last week's show, the undefeated defending state champion Dons, they've crushed their opponents by an average score of 69 to 16. GMG, that's Green Mountain Garwin, of course, trying to enter the night with a victory there, 0-7 this year, trying to avoid that winless season. Let's take you out to Tom Ryan Field in Gilbertville. Let's go, Dons! My friends in the concession stand, not that busy night, Rick, because the Dons were too busy scoring. Kale Frost on this touchdown run. This is 11 seconds into the ball game tonight. How about that? And by the way, there's our good friend Leslie Ortner of KWWL. Oh, yeah, Leslie. Leslie out there with her friends tonight out at Tom Ryan Field. Junior speedster Cade Tennell. He's going to have a big night. Gets loose here. 37 yard touchdown run for the Dons. Still first quarter. Cade's going to have a big one. Kale Frost, look at that. He literally walks into the end zone, Rick. 16 0 Don Bosco. Four minutes into the game. There's Kale on the sideline there. Cue the band. Nice interception I want to show you here. This comes from Ryan Naughton, number five. Ryan with a great interception there. That's going to lead to another score. And here's that score right now. Kale Frost fires downfield. Dylan Welter, just like last week, Dylan with a beautiful touchdown catch. 52 yards this time, 22-0. Still first quarter. The cheerleaders, remember they do those jumping jacks for every score. Want to see a great touchdown run? Here it is right oh, now. Look at the cutbacks yeah, there by Cade Tennell. Big night for the defending state champions. Everybody having fun in the end zone. And by the way, I, there, there he is on the <laughs> sideline as Cade number four. A thank hey. to Coach Colby Yoder tonight for the nice shout out on the news. Thanks again, Coach. Cade Tennell getting some great blocking oh, here, and he's got yeah. the speed to do it. Another touchdown run as the Dons go up 48 to nothing. Early in the second quarter, they go on to win their playoff opener, Rick, by the score of 80 to nothing. That's right, 8-0 to nothing over GMG. The Dons advance. They still will have home field advantage when they play next Friday night. So the machine is still in order, and they are playing beautifully. Good defense again tonight. They even got some of the younger kids playing. And by the way, I wanted to mention college coaches, you might want to take a look at big Nick Weber. Nick's a junior, big junior lineman, 6'3", 305, and he can move pretty good, too. Yeah. You know, the Dons were hoping, well, they weren't hoping for a bye. I, I talked to Coach Yoder. Yeah. He said there was a chance they might get a bye, but they had to play this first round. Yeah. It looked kind of like a bye tonight. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he kind of mentioned, like, this is a game probably that probably shouldn't have been played, you know, because yeah. you know, the team is winless. Yeah. The Bosco Dons, they are just, they're unbelievable. They really are. A bunch of great athletes, a bunch of good kids. Always fun to go out there, yeah. All right, awesome job tonight, yeah. Ron.